I see the definition of a community as a body beyond itself. What is going on among these people that may not be going on in general in society? First, they, they are dedicated to a common uh, life, a way to live, and they're also dedicated to um, a productive life, a life that, that does not exist only for itself alone, but expects to, to its outreach to be uh, to other people who have other needs. So it, it, uh, its, inner, its inner engine is probably of two major parts. It lacks uh, competition and it understands its own need. The very fact that strangers can live together in peace has got to be, and to do it for over 2,000 years, has got to be some, some sliver of insight into the fact that if people wanted to, they could. So the, the notion that we all came to this house never knowing one another, having no common background, families, money, education, anything, but all wound up here looking for the word, uh, believing that this manner of life is a good way to live, not destructive of anybody, uh, not uh, able to, to quell, I think, the natural impulse to uh, self-development and, and ownership, possessiveness, and said, no, we just all throw it in together and see what we can do with it. Now, that's a huge, huge piece in a society that uh, is based on individualism and uh, self-development. I mentioned the word, back to the word. She must manifest that word and seek it always and nothing else, nothing else. And, you know, we, we stumble along through, through the ages, uh, succeeding some places, uh, failing terribly in others, but the goal is the same. And as long as the goal is the same and the consciousness of that goal is, is the real animating element, it's the glue of this community. It's why each of us came alone and it's what each of us see that we're doing together. And I tell you, it's real. It is just real. I mentioned earlier in our conversation about the role of the Enlightenment in changing the nature of community. But it also uh, begins the march toward narcissism, toward the notion that I am everything. This, a community like this says, no, nobody is everything. And we all need a little bit of, of, uh, of, of the, the, the part. There's some part in this community that even though if you saw me from the outside, you would say, well, she travels so much and she works on these materials alone. Is she really a part of that community? What you need to do is ask the sisters. Is, is uh, why, why doesn't Joan just go get a nice little apartment and uh, she could do the same work. She would publish the same materials. She would talk about the same things. So is there any purpose whatsoever in her being here? Yes, I need them. I need their gifts. I need their wisdom. I need their, their example. I need their love. And together, we are working on the same thing. I just happened to, uh, to, to print a page of what they are and what they show, what they develop. Everybody else in that room is superior to me in some fashion. And I need them, every one of them. And I'd like to be part of, of, of this communal activity that is theirs. And so this notion of the development of the human community 
has got someday to supersede the, the development of the war machine. I see us putting money with great pride into uh, renovating our nuclear weapons. Good. Implying that someday, just by renovating them, implying that we are prepared to use them. I, I mean, what kind of community does that speak to the rest of the world? What, what, where, uh, how are we one step closer to, to, to saying to the world, you know, remember those kids who sang that song, We Are the World, We Are the Human. And I, I, I heard them sing and I said, and someday in their lives may it finally come. Well, I have my, what may be my last book, I'm not sure, but could feel like it. And if it is, I'll be happy. I, I just sent a manuscript uh, the other day. Uh, right now, at least its working title is, uh, The Time Is Now, A Call to Uncommon Courage. And it's my book on prophetic spirituality as the other side. Of, of the Christian dispensation. We all know that holiness and charity are this side. I say that if you start with Jesus, you will find out that prophetic, Jesus the prophet, is what created the, a changed world. And that we are too close to forgetting that prophetic spirituality is not a couple people. It's not Martin Luther King and Catherine of Siena and all those people I mentioned before who stand up. They are the prophets. But prophetic spirituality says we have that same responsibility. When we hear the prophetic word, the prophetic spirit requires that we advance that word in any way we can. And so I think we're losing that. I think we're turning Christianity into marshmallow, and that somehow or other, that's the we're not standing up. We're not standing up and saying we we will not have this with these children. Uh, we we will not allow uh, uh, this this tension between one whole part of us and and those all of whom are are required to support and save all of us. We are not taking prophetic spirituality seriously, and it's going to lead to the downfall of this country if we don't do it pretty soon.